Hey YouTube, today I'm kind of using Counter Fairies. Uh, it's actually not too terrible of a deck if you know what you're doing and know um, kind of what the cards you need to negate when you're facing your opponent so you can make it really hard for them to uh, face you. So yeah, my opponent um, apparently going to be using um, Odd Eyes Performer Pals. I mean, Odd Eyes Performer Pals Magician. That deck is just, uh, it's insane. That's a tier one deck at the moment. Huh, I'm funny. Remember when performing powers were a joke? Now they're like, we understand they're tier one. Now I'm really glad he wasn't able to play monkey turn one because that means I can play my curse shield of forbidden spell on him. And that will also mean his monkey will be dead later on. Which, um, yeah, monkey yaki goes to the great. Um, Monkey goes to the grave because of Curse Seal, because of uh, Curse Seal works the same way as um, Psalm, where the monster will go to the grave, um, where the card never hits the field, it goes directly to the grave, just like um, with Psalm. So, I mean, I can understand that. Nobody's been playing cards like Magic Jammer and uh, Curse Seal for the longest period of time, anyway, so. I doubt um, um, you would know that unless somebody told you about it because I mean that's a ruling I only knew because I used to play with those cards a lot and yeah that kind of makes it take a little bit of damage um, we're going to um, just try to see if we can kind of crush some of the monster yeah, now here's what the reason why I didn't want to show him what I that I had could break his scale because if I could break his scale, then he would be more inclined to use his back row cards. So I was kind of trying to see if I could get him not to use his back row cards, which um, he did use one, but um, he didn't let my harbor angel attack, so I wasn't able to add my curse seal to forbidden spell back to my hand. Um, that kind of sucks because I really want that card back in the hand. Since if I get that thing back, I get to stop another pendulum summon. And um, it will really put him in a negative spot. So, um, here I'm not left with too many plays at the moment. So we're just going to summon our um, Tower Knight um, Playmos. I mean, I was thinking about um, summoning number Heart Draco because Heart Draco would actually be pretty hard for my opponent to deal with. It wouldn't be enough to give me game, but it would be something that my opponent can deal with. And since you're going to be able to complete a scale, I'm kind of like waiting to do it. Um, since he would be able to just discard. And that will not be good for me. Now, I actually had not ever seen this play before, so, actually, I'll be honest, if I'd seen this play before, I think I would have done this a uh, little bit differently, was summon um, Pleiades right there, and um, use Pleiades to um, return Exxon, so Exxon effect, uh, Exxon having its uh, rank uh, altered, I mean, its scale altered by um, Wisdom Eyes would not have been there so that was my problem I wish I knew uh, about that because if I did I definitely would have accounted for it a lot better but yeah there I'm just trying to um, make sure I deal with certain cards you got um yeah we're going to see some plays here and it looked like they are not going to go very well for me yeah, no, it would have been a lot better because then um, he would have had the suit side and he wouldn't only had those. He would only have uh, Galaxy. He would only have Gravity and um, Exxon. So it wouldn't have been that big of a problem. Um, yeah, so we kind of let both die. Summon Vortex. So that's game for me because it, that can win after those situations. So have a great day. See you guys again. Bye. Curse Seal works just like Solemn. 
uh, like the solemn notice, solemn uh, warning. You play those cards on the when the pendulum is